Hi everyone, welcome to this new Discharge app tutorial. Discharge is a smartphone application that was developed in order to perform non-intrusive optical flow measurements for natural water streams, irrigation and wastewater channels. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to set up a 3D free cross-section site for a small natural river. The river considered is the Kreisbach in Dubendorf near to Zurich, Switzerland. Deciding where you set up your site is very important, as it will define the accuracy of the measurements you'll obtain. Here, we choose a location where the river cross-section is approximately prismatic, which means that the river shores have to be approximately regular and straight. To set up a free cross-section site, open your app, choose an organization and any site, and then position yourself and orient your smartphone so that you can see both shores of the river you consider, while maximizing the area occupied by the river surface in the field of view of your smartphone camera. Look for four different locations where you could set the markers and remember them. Then. Close the app and define the markers. Here, we define the markers using a color spray commonly used in forestry to mark trees. Once the markers are set, it is necessary to perform a geometry survey in order to gather information about the position of the markers and the cross-section of the river. To perform the geometrical survey, we use a Distal S910 from Leica, as it is a very powerful tool to obtain accurate measurements in three dimensions from a single location. We set the Distal at a location from where we can see the four markers defined previously, we adjust the position of the Distal and then perform the measurements. We choose the measuring mode alone to export the results as a DXF file. For the following, we use a right-handed coordinate system. With the distal, the x-axis of the coordinate system is defined along the two first points that you measure, the z-axis is in the opposite direction of the gravitational force, and the y-axis is perpendicular to the plane formed by the two first axes mentioned. Here, we want to define the x-axis parallel to the river with the direction pointing in the same direction than the vector form from M1 to M2. To do so, we shoot at the locations of the markers M1 and M2. Here, these are located more or less parallelly to the shoreline of the far shore. Alternatively, you could also take two points along the shoreline. Then, you need to measure the location of the four markers, three points along the shoreline of the far shore, and some points along the cross-section of the river in order to obtain a 3D free cross-section. To sample the cross-section, we use a measuring stick with a target. Make sure that you sample the cross-section at a resolution high enough to capture all important irregularities across the riverbed. Once you are done with these measurements, take the distal off the tripod and connect it to a computer. Download the 3D.dxf file and extract the points you measured using the read distal Python script that you can download from the website. Copy the 3D .dxf file to the same folder than the Python script, rename it to distor.dxf and run the Python script. You can run the script by double-clicking on it or running it from the command line. You need to have Python installed on your computer, otherwise download it and install it or contact us for support. As a result, you'll obtain a figure showing you all the points you measured and a distor.txt file will be created. Open the distor.txt file in a text editor and create the following files. First, extract the four markers and save them to a markers.txt file. Then, the shoreline and save the file to a shoreline.txt file. As a further step, extract the points defining the cross-section to a cross-section 3D TXT file. Finally, we create an additional cross-section offset TXT file that contains the height at which the target is located along the sampling stick. Here, this amounts to 91 cm. Once all these files are created, open the discharge.ch website, 
create a new site. In our case, we will name it Griesbach. Then, choose the free section mode and go to the setup tool. If you select the information button, you can read some instructions related to the creation of free cross sections. Select the setup button and upload the different files in the window opening. Here, we are working with a 3D cross section, so we select the 3D option. Once all the files are selected, process the data and you will see the 2D projection of the cross section obtained and a 3D view showing the cross section as well as the position of the markers and of the shoreline. Close the setup window and you can now set a strictler roughness coefficient corresponding to the river you are considering and define the resolution of the video. You are now ready to perform a measurement on your newly created free cross-section site. Open your app, synchronize it by pulling it down and select the site you just created. Enter the measurement mode, adjust the contrast if necessary and perform the recording. Set the markers and the water level and process the video. Once this is done, you can upload the video or share it with your collaborators if you want. We are now done with this tutorial. Note that setting up the site was possible in less than one hour and performing the measurements can be done in less than two minutes. Thank you very much for watching and contact us at discharge at if you have any questions.